Now that you've downloaded Octave, you can start Octave by using the quick launch icon or by going through the start menu. Once you start Octave, you'll see a black window open up with a blinking cursor at the command line. And all commands are issued here at the command line. This black window lets you view the files and folders on your computer in text form instead of the familiar icons normally seen in Windows Explorer. Here are some of the commands that you may find useful while navigating through Octave. Keep in mind that all of these commands are case sensitive. So if you want to change directories, you need to type little c, little d. You can start Octave by clicking on the icon down here at the taskbar. When Octave opens, a black screen appears and a blinking cursor appears at the command line. This black screen is like a window into your computer. And it operates or it functions in the same way that Windows Explorer functions. In Windows Explorer, you can navigate through your PC, through the various files and folders, by clicking on various icons. Over here, in Octave, you can view the same files and folders, but in text form. In Windows Explorer, you can look at the pathway by, by looking up here at the top. So here we're in the C drive. We can go into Octave, and we see that there are additional folders. If we go into 324GCC440, there's even additional folders. Let's go into bin, and we'll see there's a bunch of files here that are responsible for running Octave. We can find out where we're at in Octave by typing in the pwd command. We're currently looking at the C drive, folder Octave, folder 324GCC440, and folder bin. The same folder as over here. We can look at the contents of this folder by typing the ls command. And we see AMD DDL, RPAC DDL, Atlas DDL, these are all the same. So on the right side and the left side we're both looking at the same folder. We don't want to touch these files because these are responsible for running Octave. So let's go to the desktop. On the left side, we can go to the desktop by clicking, going, uh, clicking the C drive up here at the top, going to Users, going to the user MAE10-2011, and going to Desktop. You see that there are three files here, or three documents listed here the same that appear on the desktop down here on the bottom of the screen. In a similar way, we can change directories to C drive, users, MA10 2011, and desktop. So first let's change directory to the C drive, CD space C colon. If we type ls, we can see that we're out of the bin f folder that we, current, uh, we previously were in, and now we can go to users, cd users. We can type ls to see where we're at, and we can go into the folder ma10-2011. ls. Now we can go to the desktop. On your own computer, your name likely won't be MAE10-2011. Uh, for example, if your name is John, you may go into the desktop of John instead of MAE10-2011. So let's go into the desktop here and type ls. And you can see we have three files here, same as over here on the actual desktop and over here in Windows Explorer. Let's create a file 
using Octave. We can do this by using the built-in text editor called Edit. And let's make a file called happy.txt. It asks us if we want to create it if it doesn't exist, and let's say yes. And this will be a very simple file. Let's just say, I am very happy. Exclamation point. I can save this file, and I'll close the editor right now, just for convenience. And we can see the file now appears in Windows Explorer, and also over here on the desktop. We can make a folder, or make a directory, let's call it notes, with the mkdir command. And you can see notes appears on the desktop. If we type ls, we can see that both notes and happy exist on our computer. If we want to move the file happy into notes, we can use the move file command. Move file happy.txt into the folder notes. When we do that, we can see that the file is no longer on the desktop, but if we open up notes, happy exists. Let's change directory into notes, type ls, and we can see happy exists. What if we want to change the name of happy to sad.txt? We can do that with the move file command from the name that we want, to the original file name, to the file name that we want to change it to. Let's call it sad.txt. We type in ls, we can see that the name has been changed to sad, and sad appears inside the folder notes. Let's look at the content of sad with the edit command, and we can see it's exactly the same. The only thing that changed is the name. I won't go through every single command in Octave today. You can do those on your own. Next we'll be learning how to do basic mathematical operations within Octave.